One of the most important aspects of advertising on Facebook is setting up your ad accounts correctly. And oftentimes during a console, I find real estate agents boosting their posts and calling that advertising or running all of their ads under their personal ad account, which is wrong by the way. So today I wanna show you how to set up your Facebook ads account the right way. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, do you have a business manager account? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so I thought the best way to illustrate how to set up your Facebook ads account the right way was by drawing it. So here we are. This is for all intents and purposes, how you want to structure your ad account. All right, so we're going to start off with something right here that doesn't really flow into the diagram. I just want to show you what it looks like. Whenever you create an ad account, you will have a personal ad account from the get-go. You don't need a business manager in order to run ads. I do want to make that distinction. You do not need a business manager to run an ad. However, it is strongly encouraged that you do. Because if you don't create a business manager, you are losing out on this, which we're about to go over in a couple of seconds. If you don't create your business manager, you're running all of your ads in the personal ad account. Now, the downsides to that are many. One is the liability. There's a huge liability that if you do something wrong or what Facebook perceives as wrong and they disable your ad account, then you're done. <laughs> then you're done advertising because there's three different levels of advertising. There is the ad account, the business manager, and then there's your personal um, account. So this that is your personal account. And if it's gone again, you won't have any redundancies. It's a huge liability for you. The second thing is the functionality. With a personal ad account, you lose several features that you uh, that you can have by create by simply creating either an ad account and a business manager or either or as long as you leave the personal ad account by itself you won't be able to as an example upload your database and create a custom audience solely from your database you need to at least have an ad account to in order to do that so there's some several there's several different things that um that you're losing out on when it comes to functionality. All right, so that's the personal ad account. Again, that is something that you're gonna start off whenever you start advertising, that's what you're gonna start out with, all right? Now, <clears throat> let's go over to your business manager. And in order to create a business manager, you're just gonna go to business.facebook.com, which is essentially this screen right here, and it gives you the benefits. Let's see, manage ad accounts pages and the people who work on them all in one place, it's free. I'll move my webcam right here and you see create an account or log in if you're already logged into Facebook. So this is a business manager. This is something new. From all of the consoles that I do, I can safely say that 65% of the, the people that I work with, the agents that I work with, or marketers that I work with, business owners that I work with do not have a business manager. And that is sad. <laughs> and I don't say sad in, in a demeaning way. I say sad in we need to be better equipped and better able to equip you with this information because business manager is where it's at in order to maximize Facebook advertising. Oftentimes we just go from the personal ad account and go off and running. So again, business manager, this is where it's at. You can go over into, into business.facebook.com and see what the benefits are. We're not gonna go into all of them right now, but I want you to understand the setup. That's most important in this video. So it's not gonna go too long. You have the business manager as the overarching umbrella, and then you can create several ad accounts. So you can create one ad account, two ad accounts, three ad accounts, four ad accounts. So you can create multiple ad accounts and control either different verticals in your business or have different businesses all together in their own individual silos. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook ads mastery for real estate leads. Link in description. The reason that I like that is because let's say your ad account, this one, got flagged for whatever reason and was disabled. Whether you did something right or did something wrong, it doesn't matter it was disabled for whatever reason well that just means that this ad account is disabled this doesn't mean anything over here 
So you're able to run ads on this side as well. Now, remember, if we were just running in our personal ad account, then the whole enchilada is at risk. So we don't want that. Now, with your business manager, there is a possibility that your business manager gets flagged as well and gets disabled. So you can create another business manager, and I encourage that you do so you have even more redundancies. But at that point, we're talking about something a little bit more serious, and you do want to make sure that you are rectifying that and appealing that, which I'll link a video at the end of this video and down below. And if I remember up here in the um, in the end stream where I show you how to get your ad account back if it was disabled. All right, so you see that you have the business manager and then you create your own ad account. And from there is when you start creating your campaigns. This is something that you're most commonly used to where we create a campaign, create the ad set, and then create the ad. So you see how everything breaks up. This is the flow, this is the structure. Oftentimes we get started with the personal ad account and then run a campaign, run an ad set, run an ad and then forget about it. But there's a structure to this and I encourage you to the action item. If you take nothing else from this video to go and create your business manager again, business.facebook.com is where you're going to go create your business manager and set up your ad accounts so you can protect yourself and increase the functionality with your Facebook ads. Well, now that you know how to set up your Facebook ads account the right way, it's time to learn how to run ads the right way so you can start generating leads. And I'll leave a video right here that's going to help you do just that. And if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.